Salty Language presents The Enthusiast. Hey there, Enthusiast. Welcome to a super echoey special edition Salty Language featuring myself, Tony. Firstly, Space Violence Genie of Salty Language. The Risk. <laughs> Soundboard T. Yes, sir. And coming all the way from the wherever you live at. The thumb area. <laughs> it's uh, Big Dev from Snake Oil and Shot of History and Snake hey, Oil hey. Horror and whatever else you're into. <laughs> uh, pornography mostly, but that's not the show. <laughs> no, well, it can be. I mean, we can switch topics real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what is that uh, show on on Showtime? Dave's Old Porn. Dave's Old Porn. Yeah. With David Tell. That was a great show. That was a great show. I kind of miss it, to be honest. Now we all gathered here because we just uh, erased some memory bank, bleh, some brain cells, and <laughs> violated our livers and all that yesterday at Detroit Fall Beer Fest 2016. Did you forget what year it was? <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> it definitely sounded that way. <laughs> you know, 2000. Uh, well, it almost sounded like the start of a funeral when he's like, we're all gathered here today. Yeah. Yeah. And then he induced us all, like, let me, that, that was weird. I'm, t- I told you, I'm tired, I'm tired. You're not braining? No, I'm not braining. Okay. I had not a, today. I had to set up the dining room studio so it's all hard surfaces and echoey. And I'm sorry, you should figure out a way to hang like blankets up or something when you have to do this. Maybe. Yeah, just get a bunch of moving blankets and hang them up on the wall yeah. as decoration. <laughs> Say it's like your uh, wall coverings in your castle. Yes. Yeah, we have tapestries. tapestries. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I just need fancy tapestries. We'll just embroider it so they're podcast tapestries, the stories of salty language. Here's Hobo Gulch. Uh, <laughs> here's, and here's Brian and his third beard. <laughs> this is all great ideas. Yes, uh... <laughs> Brian of Salty Language is not joining us because unfortunately he did not make it to Beer Fest uh, this time around, so Ooh. it seems silly to have him talk about it. And yes. we got hissed. What are we at, the Apollo? <laughs> <laughs> all, all we need is the black guy of Rome. <laughs> so, uh, Beer Fest, guys. Detroit, another winning success. Beautiful weather. Yep. Yes. It was a perfect day. And yep. It wasn't too hot, it wasn't too cold. Yep, I was. I got there a lot later than you guys, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. The enthusiast, yeah. the non-savage, <laughs> got in after the savages. Yes, oh, it was bad. We didn't lines. realize that all of Toledo was ripped up mm-hmm. yeah. and closed down, which makes no sense to me. Yeah, well, they were. Yeah, um, let's just close down the whole city, and then no one can leave. Well, just the <laughs> expressway. <laughs> It took us an hour to get out of Toledo. So you need uh, like snake Pliskin on your side. A little escape from Toledo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and of course, my husband did not handle it well. So, mm-hmm. Well, you know, us Lisks, we're really cool under pressure. Never, ever lose our temperature. Mm-hmm. For temper- temperature. <laughs> <laughs> we never lose our temper for no reason. I'm not the only one who's still feeling it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ah. Uh. So we got to the hotel, basically threw our stuff at him and called an Uber. Mm-hmm. Good job, good job. Yeah. We walked in and went straight to shorts. Well, T, you had some ticket problems right away, it looked like. Yeah. I was like, once again, T's getting detained. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had purchased a ticket for Brian. Uh, uh, so we had Brian's ticket, and we sold it. <laughs> Because <laughs> we like not, you know, not wasting beer money. Um, so T and I were going in with him on his tickets, which were uh, electronic, and we had printed out our tickets. So Tony had the one, we sold the other one. And uh, T couldn't figure out where his second ticket was. <laughs> well, I, I forgot. I thought uh, once I thought you guys printed one of mine off, and yeah. then I thought I had the other one. And I yeah. forgot to hit the arrow and plus. Uh, the guy couldn't, uh, he couldn't read it off the screen because, you know, yeah. weird grease and thumb, thumb grease and all that. And plus, uh, <laughs> you and your thumb grease. <laughs> yeah. And then I think it, the ear grease is grosser. <laughs> yeah. And then the, uh, the light was shining like right on it. Yeah. So then obviously finally, uh, we got that whole thing cleared up and in the gates we were. 
Yeah, I had, I had already, like, blew by him. I'm like, you scanned in one ticket, goodbye. <laughs> well, I got my ticket on me, so here I go. Yeah. I, got, I got my tokens, let's go drink. <laughs> yeah, see ya. <laughs> that was very, very good. It's I, I hate, I hate spending money to be an elitist and get in an hour early, but I, get, being in that line. <laughs> that line was ridiculous. It was crazy. Really I mean, almost... What, around three the block. quarters of around the block. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it was insane. We, we got there and the line was moving relatively quickly, but we were like, on yeah, we were practically th- three quarters of the way yeah. around by the block. By porta potties, right? Past the porta potties, yeah. we were past. Oh, so we were, were over by around. like the open spot of the farmers market. So yeah. holy crap! <laughs> yeah, wow. And luckily, uh, we spotted it. And I was like, yeah, this is us to the Uber driver rather than having him drop us off right at the front. Yeah. And Which we having did. to walk like all the way around. <laughs> yeah, the guy offered to drive us to the end of the line, and Tony's like, no, nah, we'll walk. Like, no, no, How we'll long is the line going to be? Well, I didn't, I didn't well, say that. It was one of our other passengers mm-hmm. that were like, oh, this is fine. Well, little, little did we know, though, the line was going to be. Yeah, right I, didn't around the building. Yeah. I did get to talk to Glenn on the other side of the gate. <laughs> guy from Dark Horse. <laughs> taunting us with the fact that he's been drinking beer since 9 o'clock in the morning. Mm. I talked well, to him we kind of well. do that to other people when we get it in an order early. We yeah, but I like it when I'm the elitist, elitist and not when I'm the savage. <laughs> <laughs> now, since we're cutting back on our beer mm-hmm. fest, so I don't think we'll ever yeah, we're not gonna, renew not, the enthusiast mm-hmm. stuff. Cause not unless we're going to winter. Because it's worth paying for it to make sure you get tickets. That's true. Mm-hmm. You ever you ever think about becoming an enthusiast, Dev? I, I definitely thought about it, but if you guys aren't going to be uh, elitists, then there's really no reason for me to be an elitist. Well, unless you want to get an hour early and rub it in, of course. <laughs> you can taunt us with your beer. Um, just start taking pictures every time you have a beer and just send yeah. it to us. <laughs> That might actually be all right for, for one uh, beer fest. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can come hang out with Josh and I because he likes to be the elitist. Yeah, oh, there we go. Mm-hmm. He likes his favorite beer fests are the one that have like no one. Yeah. So the hour before is his favorite part. Yeah, because there's <laughs> like 20 people in there and then there's 200. Well, it, there's the larger numbers. It, it is nice yeah. to know that if you're getting in before everyone else, you can definitely get the beers that you want. Yeah. Yep. Which is nice. Because mm-hmm. there was some stuff that I wanted to get that was gone by the time we got to, like, New Holland had a bunch of dragon's milk that were special, and they were all gone. Yeah. You know? Well, and it being Saturday, too. Yeah, it doesn't help. Yeah. Although, I'd rather do it a Saturday in Detroit, since it's in the afternoon, than the nighttime Detroit. Yeah, that one would probably get pretty right. cold. Yeah. I mean, we did that the one year, and... As fun as it was to watch people in the dark get pulled over by horses and shit. <laughs> <laughs> when we left. Uh, uh. Yes, that was the year that Josh rolled down the hallway while standing up. Yeah, the, when he was trying to grope you in front of me. Yeah. <coughs> well, we won't talk about that. So, uh, <laughs> there was 115 breweries at the beer fest and 821 beers, which is... Wrong because the list didn't have beers that there were at the brewery. So yeah, there was a bunch of beers on there. Nine hundred beers, mm-hmm. probably. Yeah, it was great. Enjoyed it immensely. There, there was no fuck you beers this year. Not that yeah. we found. we had a close one. Yeah, well, there was, there was yeah. the unofficial official fuck you beer. The unofficial yeah. official. And that was one of the beer. last ones, right? It was uh, the turkey, the turkey shot. shot. No, it was early on. Yeah, it was, yeah, pretty, it was early. pretty early. It yeah. must have been before we came in. No, it was right like right when you came in because that's when they disappeared because that's where the uh, big tuna sushi beer is. Yeah. The Harson Island Brewery from Marysville, because Josh came back. You, the guys disappeared. Rose and I were sitting there enjoying well, a beer. I disappeared. You mean we just went to go get a beer? <laughs> and yeah, didn't come and back. Gone. You went to get multiple beers. We were like, so we're going to be. That way. Well, we will be here. Go get your beer. We'll drink our beer and come back. To be fair, I think the only reason we hung out is because we started looking we're like, holy shit, we need to try this. So we're like, ready, set, go. Yeah. Beers, and we got another one. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, I think that's what happened. The Turkey Shot, which is a pumpkin beer from Harson Island Brewery, which I already said. Um, you guys said that's your unofficial official fuck you beer. I was not a fan. Yeah. There was some pumpkin beers that were just overwhelmingly pumpkin cinnamon. Like, I love pumpkin. I love cinnamon. I don't like my tongue burning from the cinnamon in a, in a beer. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What made it not quite a fuck you beer? the turkey shot 
Mm-hmm. What is the unofficial official? What was it about it? Because it's not really, a, it wasn't really a fuck you beer, so it was like, that's pretty much the closest thing. It, it was kind of like, meh, but it wasn't good, mm-hmm. but it wasn't yeah. like, oh my god, I can't finish this. So it's like the garlic beer we had, where it was like, this is definitely garlic beer. Well, no, no it was it was like that uh, that, that uh, habanero beer from last year, as soon as you put it on your tongue, it like, inflamed your taste buds. Yeah. That was a fuck you beer was last a, year. Like the garlic beer... I drank the beer and I enjoyed it because I was like, wow, that's weird. Yeah. But it wasn't like, fuck this. Okay. I didn't have one beer like that this year. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I don't I know if either. it's because my tastes are changing or if I just actively avoided the beers that I knew would be bad. Yes. Well, yeah, I, I think mean, part of it was that, but uh-huh. a lot of places I didn't see anything that was like, what the? Who was having yeah. a brain fart when they made this one? Well, there was no hot dog beer. There was no, no garlic beer. Well, there was no spear We beer. totally thought the big tuna sushi beer was going to be that exactly. way. Exactly. And it was yeah, delicious. But it was really interesting. That was my that was my most surprising beer today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if it was my number one of the day, but oh, that no. was like mm-hmm. weird. It was weirdly delicious. Yeah. And I know you, Tony, you and I talked about... Uh, we check in our beers. Like, we, we follow what we drink. We check them in. And there were not a lot of doubles or ones that we've had before. I think I had a total of five yeah. out of, like, 60 beers that were repeat beers. So they're, in essence, all new beers to us. Yeah, it was weird. Mm-hmm. And there were a lot more breweries that we hadn't seen. A lot of new breweries. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I oh, even... there was that one. Uh, Axel. Axel. Mm-hmm. That hadn't even opened an official location yet. Yeah, all their beers are pretty killer too. If I remember yeah, right, yeah, Josh was all mm-hmm. excited about that one. Well, to be fair, they had killer pours too, so yeah. that helped. Oh, wow. that <laughs> yes, so. when they give you a full pour and you <laughs> don't have to show cleavage, yeah, that's pretty nice. I didn't have that mine for free. Yeah, <laughs> your cleavage or your beer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I was reaching my, I was reaching my, he, uh, guy poured me a, a nice hefty pour. I was reaching mm-hmm. in my pocket. He was like. Nah, man, you're good. Mm-hmm. Like, thank you, sir. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they're they're going to be opening in Ferndale, so uh, seems like a road trip. Yeah, with one eye buddies right there, we can get donuts and beer. Mm-hmm. Plus, um, yes, donuts. <laughs> Dragon's meat is over there, and maybe bee nectar as well. No bee nectar, as I didn't know. Dragon's oh, dragon's meat is in Warren, I think. Yeah. I was like, I didn't know dragon's meat was but there, bee but I know beer is. nectar is. And Royal Oak Breweries over there too. Okay. Well, well, it's time to go tear up Ferndale. Mm-hmm. I think we might have to do a weekend in Ferndale. Since there's no yeah, festival you do this one year. over in the South Lion Apparently, area. Yes, yeah, yeah, so we're doing oh. that with the drafting table, the draft horse, and three monks. Three monks, which is hat. And there was another one in Milford mm-hmm. that I saw that I walked around. I didn't mm-hmm. get any beer from them, but what we're saying, guys, if you like beer, come to Michigan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we would uh, would. Talk completely enjoy people coming in especially for Detroit Beer Fest because regardless of where you live you can fly into Detroit mm-hmm. you got a hotel come to the Beer Fest it's always the uh, weekend before Halloween well like this year attack mid was two weekends and you can before. see some pretty cool costumes mm-hmm. such as Mr. Tony Oh yes, <laughs> breaking out Wilfred costume. Mm-hmm. Tony went in costume, got yeah. petted and molested, yeah, and was pictures my taken tail and <laughs> until the so, end when someone ripped someone, his tail yeah, off. Crazy lady yanked my tail off, not in a good way. <laughs> well, she stepped on it getting out of the, the bus afterwards. No, so. yeah, it'll it'll. It still was make accidental. Mm-hmm. You were a little too inebriated to realize that there was someone pulling on your tail, and you kept walking away. <laughs> Me? You? <laughs> what? At the end of Beer Fest? Never. <laughs> yes. No, so what do we got? Oh. Highlights. Highlights. Anyone? Uh, Pigeon Hill. Is it Pigeon Hill, right? Yeah. They had a insulated thermal growler. Oh, yeah. The growler I want was that nice. so bad. And I talked to the guy forever. He cleaned it up for me so I could take a picture. Yes. <laughs> uh, did anyone get a price on that? No. No. Because nah, they I kept, weren't, I, and while while he was like oiling and shining up, I kept yelling, "How much is that? Mm-hmm. How much is that?" He just didn't nothing. even because they weren't selling them. You can go to the brewery and get them, but they weren't selling them there, which is why. Son of a bitch! Yeah, it was just there to taunt you and get you to the brewery. Yeah. Those yeah. things were beautiful, yeah. though. Yeah, I'm I'm like, mm-hmm. I want one 
And I don't collect growlers. <coughs> I do live with someone who does, but I want one. Yeah, I, I have a few. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you put that there. Yeah. yeah. That's how it works. We're going to put another one on the other side and then shelves in the middle. And we're going to drop the pictures because we don't need pictures. Of they're our talking about my grower holder hanging off the wall. <laughs> just for people like who have no idea what's going it. on. <laughs> it won't <laughs> work. <laughs> That's quite nice. Quite nice. I think um, my favorite beer was the gin barrel aged with lime. The Mr. Orange. Yes. Yeah. Belgian wit beer. That was really mm-hmm. good. I got two of those. Oh, yeah. man. Double yeah. fisted. <laughs> and I drank both of them completely. Yeah. She, nice. And Rose, who does, the people who don't know her, Rose is a sip and dump. Yes. Even if she likes the beer, she dumps it because she doesn't want to get drunk. Oh, yeah, I didn't she's know smart. That. Yeah. How how are you going to get to Raccoon Tony stages <laughs> if you don't drink the beer? I got she, shit faced. I think it was Winter Beer Fest. Yeah, she has to and deal with uh, my brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of us definitely has to be sober. I just let him go. <laughs> no, not no. a good idea. <laughs> no, he was in rare form yesterday. He was not that bad yesterday. He wasn't, but he was in mm-hmm. rare form compared to. He gets that way maybe once or twice a year. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's usually at a beer fest. Was <laughs> <laughs> not a bad thing to yeah. be? But you no. guys no. spent like a huge amount of time talking about next year coming as wrestlers. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I think it's cool, yeah. <laughs> I think you need to talk about that and I, get some I people mean, to come into next year's beer fest I, I as will, wrestlers. I took a lot of pictures of people mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. If we came as a group of wrestlers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Photo ops of plenty. Yep. <laughs> the only thing is, you're either going to have to drink a lot to stay warm, mm-hmm. or you're going to have to figure out full body costumes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Because if walking if around in like a man angle, he's got a coat. Or a, <laughs> yeah. What is it? A singlet? Or yeah. going to freeze your balls it. off. Deb, what did you say you were going to be? Uh, Akeem the African Dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. So what will you be wearing? <laughs> uh, a bright yellow uh, dashiki with a uh, I think it's like a blue uh, pipe hat. I, I'm not even sure what they what yeah, they call like it, a but traditional African hat thingy. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's T. What now? We should consult the expert. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think Tony suggestion I come as Big Boss Man. T- too so mm-hmm. big. If you make a good big boss man, yep, doing hard time. <laughs> <laughs> so I think if I want to keep the beard, I think I have to go Akeem the African Dream. Right. Well, boss man d- did have a goatee, so yeah. You know, yeah. It just depends on like when things hit uh, mm-hmm. with uh, my respirator fit training. <laughs> That's at what work. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to mention that. It just yeah. depends on when you have to shave. Okay, now, yeah. that, now that I pull up an image. <laughs> That's, yeah. I mean, that you're, you would definitely be a good Akeem the African Dream. <laughs> yeah. But that would not be a warm costume. Well, I could always wear uh, thermals yeah. underneath. That is yeah. very true. But yeah, that's uh, that would be most excellent. Yeah, right. well, for people who don't, you know, who don't know, you know, about old school wrestling, all it's going to be is like, who are you supposed to be? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. What, what are you doing? I'll put a label on your back, Akeem the African Dream. No, I just need I just need a Reverend Slick to follow me around. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true. He does need a Reverend sl- Reverend Slick. Mm-hmm. I I told you if I dress up as a character, it's a costume you're putting together. Perfect. Josh said he was, should go as Mister Perfect. Mm-hmm. Yep. But I don't see it since Mister Perfect has a blonde, blonde hair. mullet. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll just have it's to. It's like him a blonde, curly, curly kind of mullet. Yeah. No, it's just the person it. he remembers from wrestling. I'm telling you, Mr. Genius is the one he needs to go as. Uh, the Gen- yeah, the Genius. All he has, is, whatever. Yeah, all he has is a uh, like a cap and gown. His dad's yeah. Mr. Genius. <laughs> 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 uh, I think my highlight for this beer fest was the realization that I think I'm getting into sour beers because mm-hmm. I had a lot of them and I was really starting to enjoy them, which I never thought I would because when I first started. Drinking sours. It's like, these are terrible. <laughs> so I don't know what well, happened. Well, some of the sours you drink were terrible. Maybe. Because, like, I mean, it's like when we were describing the dry ciders, yeah. where it's like really good vinegar. Yeah. Well, when you get a sour, it can be really good, or it can be 
garbage. Well, I, all I know is I had a lot of sours because I was checking them in mm-hmm. this morning, and I gave them all good reviews. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I mean, I had one that was like, you know, doing a, I don't know, doing a hit of a, what freaking, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I can't think, I'm so fucking tired. What are those stupid sweet or sour, sour patch kids? Yes, it was like doing a sour patch kid in a glass pipe. Mm-hmm. It was so extreme. <laughs> <It's> three basins, <laughs> exactly. So you accidentally did crack? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I may or may not have some crack. <laughs> I'm just not sure. <laughs> I agree with you, Jeannie. After looking up mm-hmm. the genius wrestler, mm-hmm. that is totally more Joshua. I, I also really enjoyed Short's, yeah. uh, um, their Little setup. Beepster. No, I'm just not even talking about beers. Their setup they had, it was all like metal work and mm-hmm. flame pots going off. Oh, yeah. 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 They had a great Every setup. five minutes, Kane was walking by the uh, booth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, and that, that was done by a local Detroit, um, what was the name of it? I follow them. Speed Cult. Yeah, Speed Cult. Huh? Yeah, they, they did their booth. And Short's is known, like Short's and, um, Dark Horse. Uh, Dark Horse. You usually have a good Dark setup. Horse's setup was kind of like a haunted house. Well, yeah, yeah it makes sense for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, Shorts is my favorite, and we went there first. It was good. And I think Josh went there last. Yes, he did go there last. And uh, like half their beer, like three, like a third of their beers was left. Everything, two thirds were gone. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure we, mm-hmm. we had like that whole tent. Yeah, we did the we, entire we back end. We camped out in that area and hit yeah. pretty much every brewery where Shorts is at. Yeah, and then we missed the yeah. entire middle. Yeah, we didn't even, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> uh, Vander Mills, I love Vander Mills, and we didn't go there at all. Yeah. Bean actor, nope. Yeah. Right brain, nope. Nope. <laughs> and I stood in that stupid founder's line wanting a hot dog, and I get up there, and I'm like, oh, what about the hot dogs? Oh, it's the other line. It didn't say that yeah. there was only one line for a hot dog. You know what was the best part about oh. the founder's line? Was I was like six or seven people deep, and one of the guys looked at me, and I have it on my Snapchat, and he pointed right at me. <laughs> and I walk up, he's like, I love your costume. What do you want? Because <laughs> if you're watching my Snapchat, he's looking at me, and then he points, and I point back. <laughs> Well, by the time this airs, no one will be able to see this. Well, that's true. I'm going to take the highlights because okay. they they're all in my memories and post them somewhere. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Detroit Fall Beer Fest, you got to come. Come um, send Tony at saltylanguage.com, blah, 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 message. Come to Detroit Beer Fest. Yes. Blah, 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 message. Huh? Hey, I'm not I'm not here to pimp your shit. All right. I'll, I'll do all the, the, the business, as we like to call yeah. it, towards the end of the show. I um yeah, there's just so many there was so many good beers. How about you T, what do you got highlight wise? What what stands out for beers or setups or mm-hmm. uh actually the uh the short setup was pretty pretty sweet. It was awesome, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you know what I noticed and it might have been because it was Saturday, a distinct lack of swag. Yeah. There wasn't many stickers uh, or coasters. Was, I mean everybody had stickers though. I was looking for pins and mm-hmm. other stuff, but Well, the problem is that stuff gets expensive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. still. Yeah. I've got oh, so many like get bottle them over here. The one place that you I got the most I stickers from hand. was Bell's, and they always have a ton of mm-hmm. stickers. But they're also like the granddaddy of yeah, uh, like of beer fest. They can spend Michigan the money beer on it. Yeah, yeah. And then was it Griffin Claw had like the smallest stickers we've yeah. ever yeah, seen? Yeah, the <laughs> like a quarter. Yeah, <laughs> they were yeah. like a dime. They were yeah, tiny. They were tiny. They were tasty. Ja- nice. <laughs> the pants. Wait, the <laughs> nipples that, that no dime size nipples are not worth <laughs> even looking at. They're like they, that, no, no. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> well, the, that, that lady did like have impressive Brussels sprouts. Oh, she, she did. did have impressive Brussels. Sprouts. I wanted those Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Good call, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> when we were waiting in line because the farmer's market was Easter market was open right. this lady came up with a, a lovely wagon with a kid in it they're loading in the kid and all of a sudden you see this stock of Brussels I've never seen this like this thing was laden with Brussels sprouts and I was just like she was also bumming because she was completely surrounded by cars and people waiting in line yeah. to go drink <laughs> she was not going anywhere no <laughs> Oh, she just yeah, she just had her head down just the whole time, just showing shit in. She's like, Ugh. yeah, not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. 
I got to drink. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. The the biggest problem we had this year was the bathrooms. The Oh my oh. god. Jesus. The bathrooms like are always Dev terrible. And there. T disappeared for an hour at a time. They're always bad. This year was it god seemed exceptionally awful. bad this year for some reason. See, I actually well, thought it was better this year than it was the last year that I went. Really? Yeah, because they did add more bathrooms from the last time because before it was just a complete U. This time they had a few more on the one end. Mm-hmm. So it was the line that I, the lines that I got in while still slow moved faster than the one line I was in last year where I was gone for I had to have been gone for almost an hour and a half last year. Holy yeah. crap! So you just go find a they corner. Need to add like another thirty or forty porta potties. Or gentlemen, race catheters. No. Said it once, I'll say it again. <laughs> I'm all about it. No. I'm definitely considering it. So, <laughs> so this is my my. You get a race catheter. We will never have sex. You don't have to know. I'm pretty sure I'm going to know. Well, yeah. I will say there was one gentleman while me and T were over at the restrooms that was quite the genius. He wore a kilt, mm-hmm. and he walked up next to that uh, blue Dodge Caliber that was right next to the, the Porta Johns uh-huh. and just uh, just let it go. <laughs> wow. It's like, just wow, man, that like- is brilliant. Yeah. Wow. Did yeah, but it'd be awfully uh, chilly. Mm. Uh, he cool moved it just ever so slightly, just enough to make sure the uh, the, the ruffles bag. at the bottom didn't get it wet. It was clear. <laughs> <laughs> ruffles. Just have this image of a guy bent over ever so slightly holding up the... T- <laughs> like he's curtsying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like getting ready to, like... Ah, <laughs> and it wasn't one of those oh. like utility kilts either. It was like a full blown, legit, like kilt. yeah, legit kilt. Huh. I guess that's another option then. <laughs> oh wait, yeah. someone could be uh, Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Boom. Yeah, kilt. Uh, the was it the Bushwhackers also wore kilts. True. Did they? I believe so. You can go around and lick people. I, in the I head. did tell Brian if I you know we did uh Beer fest as wrestlers, bushwhackers would be a good choice because we go around and lick people. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> now this is coming from the guy who throws a fit when I ask if I can lick his face. Yeah, but you know, I would be. That's a different thing. I'd be drunk and then. <laughs> <laughs> and in character. Yeah, and, and in character. Exactly. Dear Lord. Yeah. So yeah, um, the beers were good, but nothing was like nothing stood out. Like, oh my god, I need to talk about this beer. Um, yeah. I had fun. I enjoyed everything I tried. There wasn't anything that I was like, that's gross. I do want to go visit Axel. I'm very excited about that one. Um, I think we've planned like three weekend getaways to hit different breweries. Now, do you have a random entry in your phone that just says beers with Dev again? (laughs) And we don't know why it's there. (laughs) I'm I'm still just trying to figure out the one that says beers. Drinking weekend with Dev in December. Not. A, mm-hmm. I think that's the one we determine. It's like, oh, I always take off that weekend off of work because I have extra vacation time. So I would be down in the Ipsy uh, Ann Arbor area. So the first weekend was, in December. It might have been, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> It's still this just what happens drinking weekend. when you make plans <laughs> while you're inebriated. It's yeah. true. You just look at your phone and go, what the fuck is this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it says Dev's drinking weekend. Um, <laughs> apparently we're, we're having a drinking weekend. Well, I guess uh, inebriated and plans. Uh, should we move on to the post-beer fest shenanigans? Sure. You well, guys you guys want to help me out here. The, the hotel we stayed at offers a bus <laughs> service where they'll, tran- they'll transport you within three miles of... The hotel. So yes. that worked out nicely. We didn't have to Uber anywhere. We didn't have to drive. We didn't have to pay for taxis. We mm-hmm. didn't have to get a lift. Yeah, it um, was even better yet when they told us that, hey, all you got to do is call up and we'll come get you as well. Yeah, and we gave yeah, that number is, to Dev. Which is honestly <laughs> a reason to stay at the Double Tree when we're down in Detroit. Yeah. For yeah, stuff so. like this, at least. Or anything, because just about any Three place miles we want to go. Yeah, we, we would want to go within reason, like yeah. for drinking. We, like, Dinner beforehand or something. I don't know. Because uh, it did go to both casinos. Like, we passed both of them. And, yeah. yeah. Off topic. <laughs> no, it was fine. You know, we got there and 
Josh doesn't remember checking in. <laughs> That's shocking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, did we check in? Because I don't remember, like, taking our stuff to the room. Yes, we checked in. How long were we there? Just long enough for you to pee. And then we took off downstairs. <laughs> And then we missed the shuttle because T and Tony were talking to some lady on the phone. Well, T was talking to someone on the phone, and Tony was trying to call Hot Topic from somewhere. In California. (laughs) Because that's what you're going to do. I don't know why. I guess I wanted to talk to somebody. He also stole a chair. I still don't know where that chair went. Exactly. It was there, and it was gone. You were at fault. Well, he tried to steal two chairs. One... You put the kibosh on pretty yeah. quick. Because I was there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Raccoon Tony was yeah. starting to show. Yeah, well, so well, he got a call from work. I left. I told Tony to wait because I needed to get away from him. And <laughs> I can't imagine why. Thanks, baby. Love you, too. <laughs> and uh, we, missed the, we missed the bus. <laughs> I had to wait another 20 minutes. Yeah. I was not happy. Mm-hmm. Well, I was uh, I was sitting on the lobby of our floor because there was a table and a little phone, and that's where I was trying to call from. Was mm-hmm. that little phone? I was waiting for tea. I still don't understand why we don't shop at Hot Topics. I don't know why Hot Topics. <laughs> I don't know and, and why Hot Topics in California. I, I don't know. When Not I pulled up mention. my Google on my phone, that's the first thing was Hot Topic California was getting numbers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh well, I see what I was. That's doing. what I was going to ask. Where did you get their number? <laughs> the internet. <laughs> Oh, damn you, Internet. You make me hungry. <laughs> and why didn't I call from my phone? I'm trying to use a hotel phone. Because <laughs> you didn't want to pay for Why it? did you do half the shit you did last well, night? Well, that's a good call. Well, you also unplugged <laughs> the phone, so that... Well, because no one else is going to use it. <laughs> if I can't use it, no one else is. He was pissed he couldn't get it to work for him, so he unplugged it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it sounds I like did plug it back in today, though. Yeah. 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 And then he came downstairs, and he was all excited that oh, yeah. he got the uh, handicap lift in the lobby door to open and then was amazed by it closing. <laughs> well, maybe that's where the chair went. Yeah, you put it in the handicap. Did lift. I? Okay. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't remember playing the handicap. No, there was lift. definitely no chair in the <laughs> handicap lift. <laughs> well, the, the only good thing was that Tony wore his fluorescent orange uh, Under sweatshirt. Mm-hmm. Super warm. So that Jeannie couldn't lose him because she was a little nervous when you went out waiting for the Shuttle. No, I was. He w- went across the street. I like the to laundry. the other side, and was just like do 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 do. And I was like, if the shuttle comes and he's not here, I'm leaving his ass. I don't care. I'm hungry. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, and don't forget the uh, the folding road work ahead sign. Oh my <laughs> goodness! You kept telling everyone hey guys, that it would fold up what? quite nicely. This folds up quite nicely, and then starts playing with it and folding it. We're going to take this home, right, Jeannie? No, we're not. Stop touching the damn side. You tried to steal the garbage can. Yeah. (laughs) I was watching you because I'm like, okay, Jeannie's going to lose it because she can't see him. We're sitting in the vestibule. And all of a sudden you poke your head around holding the garbage can. And I thought you were going to puke in it at first. I'm like, he's going to be sick. She's like, no, No, he's he's going to steal it. it. (laughs) (laughs) And sure enough, it starts playing is this in, indoors or outdoors? Outdoors. You were outdoors. Okay. You were looking and you were holding it and you were looking at it quite <laughs> intently. And I'm like, he's got to throw up. He's got to throw up because that's the face of a man. He's going to throw up. And then all of a sudden you just bust out in this grin and move it like two feet to the left. And I said, no, he's trying to figure out how to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> and then you walked across the street looking at everything on the walls. And mm-hmm. I did. I When I was going over my steps in my phone Mm -hmm. and looking at my stuff I was taking snaps of. I have one of just a plaque of a building and I just put history and shit under it. (laughs) So I'm assuming... Oh, that that was was... the plaque on the building of the hotel we were staying in. Ah, okay, there you go. (laughs) So you came back and we finally got into the the bus and went over to the traffic jam and snug. Josh wait, wait, wait. asking me, like, Tony, what did you think it was oh, called? So when we were at Target today, and I was, uh, my my brain's not working. Mm-hmm. And all my brain is thinking, when I was trying to think of the restaurant, was the rub and tug. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew it wasn't right. <laughs> Who wants the rub well, I mean, tug? traffic jam and tug would make sense because, I mean, you're, you're sitting in traffic anyway. You might as well tug one out, right? <laughs> I mean, bored. <laughs> yeah. He's like, all I can think is rub and tug. And I'm I mean, like, it's not right, but it's all I can think of. <laughs> yeah. I discovered that Josh has no long-term memory when he's drunk. 
Oh he, my god. He has no short term memory either. Yeah, that's what I meant. I hear this place has great nachos. <laughs> and burgers. He said that to like 50 people, I swear. <laughs> to the waiter, oh to the god. hostess. Where's Jeremy? Where's Justin? <laughs> Where's Jacob? <laughs> Let's let's not forget to mention as no, we walk into job. the building, mm-hmm. they have the, their cheeses and their breads that they make there. And mm-hmm. Tony's all like, "You need some delicious fucking bread here? I got some bread for you. Like, I bought some delicious fucking cheese." Yes. Hey, they need a saleswoman, clearly. <laughs> and the people waiting in line in front of us and behind us, I think, were slightly horrified. Oh, slightly. Oh. The and, then, behind us. and then he spotted the picture of Guy Fieri. No, no the yes. people behind us. The guy, the lady asked how many. We said six, and she, I'm and she asked eight, and I went, no, it's just six, unless they want to join us. And the two people behind us were like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, thank you, no, <laughs> we're, we're <Yes>. leaving. <laughs> I was afraid Josh was going to break that glass case. Would he keep slamming into it or something? Or? He kept leaning on it like all his weight, mm-hmm. and it oh. it wasn't very sturdy to begin with. He didn't break it. No, luckily. Tony did have a man crush on Guy Fieri, though. Yeah. He, he totally oh, tried goodness. stealing one of the framed pictures of Guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. You know. Although... I, I don't understand that, because you hate him. You know, I don't know. Okay. People do strange things when they're drunk. And Maybe I ordered... He secretly has a man crush on Guy Fieri. I ordered the <laughs> sandwich <laughs> that they said yeah. I loved off the menu, uh-huh. and I wasn't that great. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, you were totally and disappointed. Flavor Town and you? your Flavor Town yeah. are not in the same country. <laughs> yeah, uh, Flavor Town, <laughs> Flavor Town. Yeah. Though Deb's platter of cheeses was, was quite amazing. Tasty. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was delicious. And Deb actually had dessert with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yay! I'm gonna eat your dessert too. <laughs> yep. Here's mine. Let's switch. I do like, uh, before we got our meal, mm-hmm. uh, when there was that uh, lady walking down the ramp, that that I will remember, where uh, she's walking down the ramp, and I kind of look back, and I see her, and she she clearly had hip issues or something, and she was walking strangely, and I looked over, and I saw the look in Tony's eye, like he was going to say something, <laughs> and immediately it was, no, Tony, no. <laughs> Bad panda, bad panda. <laughs> Luckily, Tony had changed out of his dog costume at this point. Yeah, yeah I was in human form. Yes. <laughs> well, you he know, did get some kids, we, though. We forgot when we hey, were standing waiting while they were putting the table together, Jeannie had to hold Tony's hands, and he was getting quite upset with her. Yeah. Yeah. I was standing in front of him with both hands in my hands and keeping him with me so he could stop opening doors and trying to grab frames. Yes, the raccoon was in full force. <laughs> Sometimes uh, you have a few beers. <laughs> things get nutty. <laughs> and I saw you scoping out this shit that was hanging off the ceiling. trying, And I could see you were working out a way to try to scuttle up the walls to get that. <laughs> Luckily, <Scuttled>. it didn't work. <laughs> Luckily, Tony's not a scuttler. Not a, <laughs> once upon a time, I used to be a scuttler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice it was... <laughs> I took the honor of fertilizing your caviar. <laughs> uh. And then Tony freaked out those three kids, you uh, and Josh. Well, they should have been up there. Yeah. I, I, there was oh, this was weird this staircase, staircase that goes nowhere. Yeah. It just goes up, and there's nothing up there. Yeah, but they went up to check it out, mm-hmm. and Tony called them hooligans. Quite what are you doing up there? <laughs> and then some some younger girl probably early teens, um, freaked Josh out. Yeah, because she talked to him. <laughs> yeah. He was, he was uh, kind of tucked in between a wrought iron fence that was like a wall. Yeah. And she, like, came around and whispered, My mom's over there. And he was like, what the <laughs> He was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it's the first time I think I've heard Josh use that word in, like, yeah. a decade. Yeah. Well, where I have, like, Sailor's mouth. Josh has squeaky clean. Oh gosh darn. <laughs> Pajamas. Oh, he just <laughs> randomly says words that are supposed Pajamas. to be. Pajamas. Yeah. It's like Luke Cage. Sweet Christmas. Well, pajamas <laughs> are evil. Josh. So, yeah. That would be Josh. I don't know where you can convince him to dress up as Luke Cage. Tara, open 
Yellow. I can't convince <laughs> Josh to dress up as anything. Yeah. Hmm. Except Mr. Perfect. Well, I, I think he's just talking a big game. He's not going to dress up. Yeah, you're yeah. The only drinking. thing I've ever gotten him to dress up as is wearing a stupid name tag that says, Hello, my name is Ed. About <laughs> ten years ago when we were dating because everyone thought he was Ed Norton. Mm-hmm. Then he was doing a take on the Fight Club. Mm-hmm. 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 But that's it. A name tag. It's pretty extreme. That's as extreme as he gets. Extreme! <laughs> See, it's not just me. I don't like dressing up for Halloween. It must, it be, must a, be a family yeah, thing. It must be a family thing. Ugh. Now, um... You going we, to Larry? Because, like, we can't not talk Oh, yes. So we finished Larry. up, and the place was kind of dead at... We, we were leaving Well, I think we clock. chased everyone off. They heard us from the front door, and they Probably. were like, no, 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 this is okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, the traffic jam is a great place, um, but they are like a pre-dinner before event type of place. You don't tend to get people that close it out. Mm-hmm. So... As we were leaving, Dev, what you were out there first. How did you spot Larry? Uh, Larry spotted me. <laughs> 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 I was standing out there just in, enjoying the nice, cool air, waiting for the bus, and then and suddenly Larry appeared out of what I can only assume is the bushes from the corner of the street. <laughs> hey, Cass, how are you doing? <laughs> Just comes yeah, he, he walks up and he's all like, <laughs> "Hey man, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a street performer. Uh, you, you mind if I if I perform for you?" And I'm like, "Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to get shanked." So yeah, sure, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> uh, and uh, he he proceeded to uh, dedicate and create a song just for me on the wrought iron fence out in front of traffic jam. Yeah, he, he had a stunning pair of drumsticks that he played. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Uh, I remember was... coming out and was like, nope, and went and looked at the side of the building at the menu. I was like, I'm not engaging. You like that deal. <laughs> oh, uh, you missed out on on some uh, some great talk. <laughs> I heard, yes. Because when I walked out, Dev, you were like, hey, tell me, look, a street performer. And, you know, and it was like, game on. Let's see what this guy's all about. <laughs> I figured if uh, anybody would engage, it was Trash Panda. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was... Uh, it was something. He had a nice top hat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I don't really remember what else he was wearing because I was distracted by uh, his summer tea. I think he had a suit coat on. <laughs> yeah, and it wore summer like tea. a sport coat at the very least. <laughs> you know, summer tea yeah. summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, it was... Uh, <coughs> we, we we learned uh, some stuff, that's for sure. I learned he didn't like chapstick. <laughs> was his lips a little haggard? No, oh. he asked for money, and I said, all I have is chapstick, and he goes... That doesn't help me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, You'll be wanting this chapstick come winter. <laughs> I'm not giving you my chapstick. It is far too expensive to hand to you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not run-of-the-mill chapstick. Mm. <laughs> hey, he guys? asked me for my two, and I just, you know, I, I know I, I think I had a couple bucks, but I'm like, yeah, I'm fresh out, Larry. <laughs> I'm good. Me on the other hand. <laughs> Gee, though. <laughs> Me on the other hand trying to be Mr. Good Guy. Well, you were a good guy. Yeah. Oh, I, gave, yeah. I gave him a fiver and little did, I, little did I know another five dropped out of my pocket. That was my favorite part. Oh. <laughs> so I go to Ben Down and he was like, uh. Is that my tip? Yeah, yeah. So he was like, oh, is that my tip? I really couldn't use it. And I'm like, oh, all right. It was just great. He's like, how's oh, that my... And, uh, and he's just like, no, seriously. I really could use that. <laughs> <laughs> and good guy T hands it over. Uh, of course he Yeah. That was, a, a, that was a $10 drum solo we got. And yeah. a physics lesson. Uh, it was a $12 drum solo. I was like, Dev oh, gave him money you gave too. him money too, Dev? I oh, gave I him $2. Oh, man. I yeah. had no idea you gave him money. So yeah. what was the physics lesson? Because I was... All I... All I... I don't know what he was talking about <laughs> physics-wise. It, I just got caught up in the genitalia oh. and the... In the germ covered genitalia in his rectum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All I remember was uh, it was some quantum physics deep nine Star Trek shit. Oh, that's oh, right. I remember hearing deep like space protons, nine. neutrons, and electrons, and then turn into. He just started germ- naming Yeah, things. and then germs on yeah. the glass, and then. Mm-hmm. The, the nucleus of the cell. Oh. Yeah, because he would like walk away, and then he would come back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I thought remember. it was done, and then it had another thing. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, like, oh, geez. <laughs> and we're like, oh, thank God the boss is here. <laughs> yes. 
Then he, then and then he thought there was the cookies, cookies on the bus. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, because yeah, the, the shuttle van has a giant cookie on the side of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got $12, go buy cookies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <no> shit. <laughs> that, that, I just, you know, I was angry at you for orange juice money, was not angry at you for giving this guy 10 bucks. No. Angry at you for orange juice money. Mm-hmm. Orange <laughs> what was money? orange juice money? That was a Jamaica thing. Yeah. I, I mm. tipped uh, kids, cliff diving kids in yeah. Jamaica way too much money. At, and at it, all was too much. And it was they were accepting it in a orange juice box. So I went here to go buy some orange juice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> shoved, shoved money in there. Just gave him like $10. Because yeah. he didn't want to worry about how to figure out what it actually was. Yeah, it was Jamaican money, so whatever. He was like... I don't know what this is. It's Here yours. You yeah. It's your orange juice, money, kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early to figure out currency exchange rates. Yeah, mm-hmm. wait, wait. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean. And then we got back and parted ways. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. When uh, I was rooming with T and, and uh, Tony, and I was like, "What do you guys want to do? Are we doing anything?" I texted Dev, "What's the plan?" And uh, Tony was asleep. And T was lounging in the bed like, mmm. Oh, it was nice. I'm like, I apparently am going to go take a hot shower because nothing's happening. That's yeah, I unfortunately fell asleep on the couch watching Bob's Burgers. So, Drew can all do that to you. Yeah, that's, that's usually kind of what happens every year fast. Yeah. Yeah. And we got up and had a lovely cup of coffee. Yeah, we, uh, well, I got Tony complained about how... Coffee. Why am I always the one who has to find places? I'm like, because that's your job. You have to find <laughs> coffee places that I'm going to enjoy. That's what you signed up for when we married. And I am good at it. <laughs> well, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. We when walk you, like five blocks in their clothes. Yeah. Well, it was eight blocks, and they weren't open at all that day. Uh, <laughs> or breakfast. Yeah, they got breakfast <clears> there. <throat> well, all right. Today. In my defense. <laughs> We went, we went and got coffee. And it like, was a Coney Island. Yeah, exactly. It was a Coney Island and in our part of the country. Coney Islands are like kind of like Greek eateries. You can get hot dogs. But they always have breakfast, at least in Toledo. Mm-hmm. This is like, cheap. this is an original Coney Island in Detroit. American. American Coney Island. You've probably seen it on TV shows. If you haven't, hi, Slade. If you haven't, watch more TV on like Food Network. Don't watch more TV. But, uh... Listen to more podcasts. So we're, you know, in the past couple times I've been to Detroit, T's like, hey, we should go to Coney Island. And we never do. So this time... No, we'll, it's like, ha, 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 Yeah. It's, you're right. You don't have to. You just start drooling and staring. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we Coney should go Island. to Coney Island. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Perfect, perfect first nation. <laughs> so we went to the Coney Island, and all they serve is euros and hot dogs and fries. Yep. Though our server was quite... Mm-hmm. Ed. Yes. All oh, they do is awesome. He was quite hilarious. Hey, hey man. guys. Hey, man. Hey, hey, guys. Hey. Need some more ice for your drink, eh? I don't know if he came over from Windsor. I don't know. I don't know. He, he was a card. He was, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. He was hilarious. And I just looked over across the table at Tony. I'm like, yeah, this is going to be on the podcast later. Oh, yeah. we got to talk about Larry. But yeah, so we ended up having chili dogs and chili cheese fries. And you had a Euro dev for breakfast. Yep, I had a delicious Euro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I told you when we were paying, if I would have spied that Euro loaf, Sitting over mm. there in that roaster, I probably would have got one too because I haven't had one off of those in a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that their tzatziki sauce was uh, off. It was. It took me to Flavor Town. Wow, was it, <laughs> I was like, was it off the chain? It was off the, was off the chain. It was like, on point. It was. Uh, it was like sauce. a level eleven Donkey in Flavor Town. Donkey sauce. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and also, if I would have known that place was that close and open twenty four hours a day, I would have went. While, while everybody was sleeping and got some food. I and they know. served beer. Yeah, I know, right? Who yeah. Knew? They some actually had some good beers. Yeah. I haven't had anything to eat since then. Hey, you're at sound. You're crazy. No, I'm not hungry. Yeah, fair enough. That's I do some have a filling question, chili though. dogs. <laughs> yeah, I had a right. chili dog and chili cheese fries. fries. Yes. Question? Yes. Why did you choose American over Lafayette? Oh. A shrug. Okay. And it's a quintessential it. question because they're right next to each other. Because uh, they really American yeah. had yeah. huge yeah. billboards saying American Coney Island, and you know Tony is a one-track. Whereas Lafayette yeah. is like looks like it only had like ten seats in there. 
I had no clue there was another one there. Uh, oh, yeah, really? It, mm-hmm. it's, it's a big thing in Detroit. Like, yeah. uh, a lot Which of people one go you to like Lafayette better? and more people go to American. Well, RIT, next time we're there, Coney Island Challenge. We'll get a dog for one, and then we'll get a dog from the other. They've yep. done that on Food Network. Oh, yeah. We'll move our own Food Network. We'll periscope. <laughs> we'll do the okay. salty language version. Yeah. And it'll be a periscope where you don't see everyone's crotches and feet. Because <laughs> that was my periscope. Be sober. <laughs> yeah. That was a terrible periscope. Eh, yeah, sober is. No, we'll probably have a couple up there. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, I enjoyed our breakfast of Coney's. No. It was, okay. it was I definitely interesting. Coffee. It was definitely interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I love getting our coffee and sitting there and drinking it. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, Josh actually slept in until like 9 o'clock. It was weird. It's crazy. Whoa. Hello, cat. <laughs> and the cat makes an appearance <laughs> in Rose's lap. On my lap. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dev, uh, would you just basically throw your bags in the car and peel out of there? We didn't even see you in the lobby. Uh, I, I mean, it took him like there. five yeah. minutes to go get my car. So you guys must have just been really slow getting out of your uh, out of your room. I guess. Probably. <laughs> I guess. All were right. you already uh, packed, Dev? Yeah, I was pretty yeah. much packed. I went so back we. to the room, did a quick sweep, and then uh, packed up and and left. Yep, that's what we <laughs> did too. That's how we were able to see Dev on the street. Before. Yeah, we were not packed. No, not at all. Yeah, my I got up at like clothes were on the floor. <laughs> I was up at like 6.30 and I was kind of mm-hmm. sitting there it's like well I got nothing better to do so I might as well get well, ready to go might as well pack Josh yeah. woke me up at 7 so I was just sitting there waiting for him to wake up mm-hmm. we were watching How I Met Your Mother <laughs> I was watching Mysteries at the Museum on the oh. Travel Channel uh, well, we're, getting, we're getting up on an hour here any final mm-hmm. thoughts for Detroit Beer Fest come next year yeah, I would really love some of your your enthusiastic listeners to join us for Beer Fest next year. All right. Um, Dressed as professional wrestlers. <coughs> yes. Sorry, yeah. guys. Um, you don't have to come as professional wrestlers. No, you do. You don't show up as professional wrestlers. We get to write, you're a fucktard on your face. Wow, that's Well, incredible. I'm not showing up as a professional <laughs> wow, wrestler, and you're geez. not coming anywhere near my face. <laughs> well, I might, on the other hand, come in a <laughs> costume onesie of a unicorn. Well, that's fine. Okay. I, I, I'll get behind that. Okay. Costume of some sort. We'll yes. Okay. okay, I can do it that. It is around Halloween, and people yes, do tend to dress up for this mm-hmm. beer fest. Yes. Oh. I saw Pokemon. Yeah. Her Pikachu. And I, Pikachu. Her and I became friends because I'm like yeah. Team Onesie. We high-fived and we started chatting. Saw, and I saw a couple dinosaurs, the dinosaur onesies. There was a oh, Captain Sparrow. The, yeah. yeah, That's a beer we have to talk about because we need a... What? we, we got to talk about the dinosaur beer. Oh, Triceratops? Because Brian yes. wasn't there. No, it was a dinosaur mm-hmm. beer because, you know, he's a uh, Triceratops is what yeah. we call him. Yeah. There was a beer called Triceratops. On a Sarah Hops. Yeah, sorry. Jeez. Fuck you. Get it right. Mm-hmm. We gotta talk about it. I don't right. remember where it I'm, was. I'm looking because it was it was in. I got the beer specifically because of the name of it, and I was like, look. Up. Well, that's what I, I got it too because the guy told it. And I'm like, what should I get? He's like, you should get Triceratops. I'm like, I like hops. I like dinosaurs. You got me sold. Sold, sold. exactly. It was sold at the Eternity the Brewing. One token. Thank there you. you. Go. Dev for the win. Way to be awesome. Woo-hoo. Yeah, there. It's right there. I went, it's on the first freaking page. Of course it is. Because you got the cranberries on the side. I remember. Yeah, it was delicious. I got a, a badge for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're not going to do a oh. talk untapped mm-hmm. badge. How about this one? Josh got that one badge that was the oh, under, yeah. five. under 5%, 5% and above. And he's like, this is the first time I've ever gotten this. And oh, I, I said, yeah, that. it's because it's for 5% or below. And he's like, oh, so it's a female body part? Yeah. And I, I got pissed at him. And then he started singing about <laughs> boobs and vaginas. <laughs> and it's the list theme song. All, all the lists are going to go, boobs and vaginas, boobs and vaginas. Wow. <laughs> I actually got the best, too, the, the five below. So did I. But, uh, yeah, I got him, I recorded him singing. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. <laughs> you can that. <laughs> I think it's on Snapchat. I got to find out. Yeah. Um. So, you know what we forgot to mention, Tony? What's up, Beth? Uh, at uh, Beards Brewery, the uh, that you could purchase oh. third beer panties. <laughs> you are correct. Yes. Beards Brewery sold panties that and had their pink and white, pink and white, and they had their logo right on the crotch, which their logo is a beard. 
So if you need a third beard in your life, <laughs> look up Beards Brewery. Yes. <laughs> Google them. Love it. Um, all right. Any, oh, yeah. any plugola? T, you want to plug anything? <laughs> oh, he wants to plug something. There's I nothing do. here. <laughs> 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 well, how did your Walking Dead date go? It's, it's on. It's, it's tonight. tonight. Yeah, it's going on at nine o'clock. It's, it's like, an hour. Our, we're wrapping it up so he can leave. <laughs> ah. Yep. When Tony mentioned that, I thought you were dating a zombie. Oh no. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to follow you on anything? Uh, the, the Instagrams and the tweets. Uh, drunk Grizzly. There you go. The Drunk Grizzly. Drunk Grizzly. Drunk again, Grizzly. Mm-hmm. Ah, so it's no longer the ebony rhino, huh? No, the rhino is dead. <sighs> ah, put down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now it's just a grizzly. Yep. It's because he snores. <laughs> you can yep. find me on Untapped at Lola Rent 424 or the Twitters at Eclectic Risk. Yeah, I'm TJL High on both. Woohoo. All right, Dev? Uh, I am SOC underscore Big Dev on Untapped and uh, Podman Big Dev on Twitter. And then there's a shit ton of podcasts that I'm not even going to bother mentioning because it'll take too long. I'm still <laughs> waiting for our, you know, episode of Shot of History featuring me. Hey, we maybe on Drinking Weekend we'll make that happen. All right, there you go. Because that does, that does coincide with the next time we will have to record. I'm telling you, we can revisit the suffragettes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and good news, uh, mm-hmm. that's in Royal, where we record now is in Royal Oak, so. We can go, oh. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up what you're laying down, Deb. Uh, yeah. Geez, all coming together. <laughs> Mm. We need to end this so Tony yeah. can go get yeah. some sleep. So um, follow us uh, at Salty Language on Twitter. I am at Monotony on Twitter. Brian is at Tsunami on Twitter. Um, I think I'm at Monotony on Untapped. I really don't know. It doesn't really matter. Go to um, the website. Click the Amazon yeah, link. Yeah, Amazon link, blah, blah, blah. Salty oh, Language. Oh, t-shirts com. to come soon. Uh, we're working on it. Got to mm-hmm. fill out some more paperwork through Amazon, but whatever. And, um... Uh, Free podcast garbage at gmail.com. If you include Beer Fest, I'll send you a beer sticker because I've got a ton of them. <laughs> From some we random. Have to, but you have to include Beer Fest in your email at free podcast garbage at gmail.com. And uh, I guess that's a wrap. So have a beer. Wait, God, I, I don't normally sign off by myself. <laughs> so have a beer, you'll be fine. Stay salty. Go fuck yourself. Is what? that still on there or Maybe. no? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's whatever we just kind of yeah. freestyle it. No? Have a coney, yeah, and a beer. Mm-hmm. Annalise, take us out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Dev knows what's up. Enthusiast, this. <laughs>